Hey everyone, my name is Lee. I wanted to do a little demo on how to upload your Facebook contacts into Penny because I've had so many people message me going, how do we do this? So let me just see if I can get some dual screens going and show you guys how to do it. All right, so share screen. So there's a couple of things that you need first of all. And the first thing you need to do is go into Penny and you need to download the template spreadsheet that you need to transfer over all of your data to. So, uh, okay, so if you go into contacts and then in your contacts, scroll down and do import spreadsheet and then there'll be a sample spreadsheet there. So you wanna download that. Now I've already downloaded one, so I'm gonna go into mine. Downloads. Uh, and here's mine here. So I've, I'll put it into the level up group as well. Okay, so as you can see, you need to have your information in the right headers and footers before you can upload it into Penny. If any of your data's in the wrong place, it will not upload at all. Now, due to Facebook privacy laws, you're only going to get the first and last name. You're not going to get any of their email address unless somebody's actually made their information public, which not many people have right now. So um, then you want to go into Facebook. Now, in Facebook, you then want to go and download your Facebook data. So you do that up in the top corner and you go to settings. And from settings, you go to your Facebook information. And you want to download your information. So you need to choose the format of HTML, keep it on high quality. And I like to do a date range. Um, if you haven't done this before, obviously you can do your whole friends list. It'll take you a little bit of time, but like I normally just do like the last month or however, however you want to do it. So I'm going to do, I've already downloaded mine. So I did the last um, three months or six months or something. And you want to deselect everything and you want to scroll all the way down until you find your friends and followers and you tick on that. And then it'll come up when you actually tick it. I didn't tick it. Oh yeah, I did. Um, it'll come up saying request to download, maybe because I've already done one today. Oh no, I didn't do a date range, so that's why. That one. Yeah, so then you request to download you get a notification from Facebook saying your information has been downloaded and it usually takes about five or 10 minutes and then you'll get another notification once it's all downloaded. So once it's downloaded, you go into your files and it will download um, like a zip file. So that's the original download. So you just open it up. And in here, in friends and followers, you're going to have one called friends so obviously you want to open that up and it's going to look a little something like this so you want to just do your control a or highlight all or scroll down and hold your mouse button down however you want to do it and you want to copy that and you want to go over to your spreadsheet and the way that I like to do it personally is to go and open a new sheet so it's fresh you've still got the other one there and you want to do um, you can do paste special if you want to, or you can just paste it, but it's easier just to do paste text because you're not going to get any of the formatting. Right, so you'll notice that um, it goes into a couple of different columns that way as well. Now, you want to probably delete the first couple of rows out until it gets down to the person's name. Delete all of that. Now, you can obviously see that there's a whole load of different dates and everything. If you highlight everything and then do sort, sort A to Z, it should sort everything for you in the right names and it will put you in different columns. Now, you should notice that, like you're gonna have to go through and edit it out a little bit, 
but these ones here I've got April. So if you just highlight down the side, right click and delete, you'll be able to delete all of the date columns out. Sometimes when it's clever, it just puts them all to the bottom, but you can figure out how to sort it. You just want to get it down to the names list. Delete that one. January. <laughs> Like ideally you just want to have two columns, but unfortunately the way that it does it, some people have got three names, sometimes four. Yeah, so like all, all this stuff here, you can delete all of that. So if someone's got a in the col in the third column, you can just go and copy their name out and stick it at the end so that you just end up with two columns. Um, but just for easy today, I'm not going to worry about doing it. I'm just going to bring over the two columns. So all I do is I highlight all of the names in the first column. And then you come back here. Sometimes this works. Sometimes you have to delete that first one out. There you go. So you put that one in there and then you come back and you highlight the second column. And remember to get all of those extra names back into two columns first. Copy that. And you want to stick that in the last name. Now, obviously, you're not going to have all of the rest of the information, which is a bit of a kicker, but that's Facebook. Joys of Facebook. So I'm going to save that now. And that should have the data right. Okay. So then we want to, this is importing contacts from the spreadsheet. So then we want to drop the spreadsheet that we just created in. So that's it there. We want to upload it. And here's all our names coming into um, different contact folders. So then we just do import. And that's going to bring them all in. Ta -da. New people. Now, my recommendation personally is don't even worry about sorting and organizing. <laughs> Just do it as people come up. But if you want to, you can do both ones anyway. You can tick that on um, and you can do recently added and you can go through and you can just click them that way. And if you go, yep, those ones are all prospects, um, you know, you can just click it that way by doing a big multiple import. So, Ta-da! Hope you guys have got some value out of that today and you can flow through it all. Um, let me know if you have any questions and have the most amazing day.